Hello today and welcome back on this Friday and we have some new news from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as we have a Meghan sighting. So we have here a story where the Duchess of Sussex was spotted on a low-key outing in Los Angeles on Thursday after confirming that she and Prince Harry will be heading to New York next week. So it was in a selfie shared by TV presenter Jen Su on Instagram as well as on Twitter. It was different posts, but it all was the same selfie. So she wrote this, quote, Landed in LA and on our way to dinner, we ran into Meghan Markle. Totally low-key and super friendly, nice conversation. Hashtag girls night out, hashtag Meghan Markle, hashtag Los Angeles. So there you can see the image of the four ladies and Megan was wearing an oversized striped shirt and a pair of gold sunglasses as she happily smiled for the picture. So as I said, she posted this a couple of times and in her second post she wrote, quote, arrived in LA and ran right into the fabulous Megan Markle. Amazing way to start the trip. So of course, everyone in the comment section is just saying, amazing, so cool. Um, did you run into her in Montecito? And people were asking if she was with Prince Harry. And, you know, people were saying it was a cool celebrity sighting. And, you know, she posted, as I said as well, on her Twitter account where she basically posted the same thing. So you can see that she was quite happy to have run into Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. And it seems quite specific in her Instagram post that she said that they had uh, some type of conversation with her. Nice conversation, as she said in quotes. And I'm hoping that she releases more details. So there is Megan smiling out and about. And I think it's also testament to the fact that people are really happy to see her right there in LA. And she is loved by her neighbors as well. And it also shows that she does have these low-key moments where she just goes out. And for her, it's just a normal day. She goes out to get flowers and, you know, and stuff like that. It's not some PR stunt or trying to divert attention from anyone. She has to live her life up. So it's cool to see that this is just a wonderful moment for her to be in a light where she's just so down to earth. She can pose for a selfie. And, you know, look at her. She doesn't seem to be at all apprehensive to take time and brighten their day and take a picture with them. It's a five second thing. And, you know, she's off on her way. So it's wonderful. So Jen Su, according to her profile, is a TV host and entertainment contributor for Sunday Times and Fox 29. And on her Twitter, she's followed by some pretty big names like Deadline Hollywood and a couple of other actors, people who are quite famous. This is another point I wanted to add in here where people say that Megan calls a back grid on her and calls the paps to take pictures of her out and about in Montecito. Look at this right here. This is Jennifer herself taking this picture. And unless they're trying to say that Megan paid her to come out there and take this image of her which would be nonsensical. So it does show that there is a demand to have pictures of Megan and she was lucky enough just to have a selfie with her and give it a couple of hours, it will be newsworthy. So I'm just sharing this with you here. This is wonderful. Once again, we just get to see Megan out and about. It's not a pap pick. It's just uh, someone who manages to run into her and takes a picture with her. And you know what? I think that Megan is so open to people who she comes across because you know, in her own background as an actress, she was someone who is used to people coming up to her and taking pictures of her. And I think that's so much in her DNA. She doesn't think twice about it. She just does it. You know, it's something that flows from her and her own training as an actress to be affable and amiable to people who come up to her. So yes, you, you can see that she really made their night out go to a whole new level. And once again, reiterating the fact that she just bumped into her so randomly. It shows that Harry and Meghan are settled into their new lives in LA. They have low-key days out, nights out, just walking around. And they are loved by their community. So yeah, all those stories where people want them to leave, that's just a tabloid rumor mill going on and on. And as we know, they are going to be in New York next week. So many of these people who say that Harry and Meghan are irrelevant and they have to call the paps on them. I bet you that they are flying out their reporters right now to New York, booking out rooms so that they can be there for that um, summit that they will hold on mental well-being in the digital age. So yes, there was a story on that. And uh, they said that they will be working with families 
We've been working with them over the past year, strengthening the community and seeking solutions. And they are united in their mission to share personal experiences, data and research to prevent online harassment and online pitfalls from happening to other families. So Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan will be making a personal appearance in New York. And I know a lot of you in the comments shared that you are in that area. And, you know, if you're out there, go out and just show love and, you know, give them a warm New York welcome. I'm sure that they will appreciate that. So it is cool and it's quite interesting to find certain papers speculating if Prince Archie and Lily Bet will accompany them to New York. I think not. Um, they're a bit young and I think uprooting them for like a one day or two day visit does not make much sense. So please go out there if you're in the area, show them love, drown out any hate, just let them feel your warmth even as they're under the spotlight on that occasion. So here's another cool story. Um, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan welcomed in their community, loved, and wherever they go, people talk about them being generous. And if they go to restaurants, they give good tips. You know, they enjoy the food. They just uplift the atmosphere where they go. And I'm just happy to share this story with you. So share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. As always, before we log off, a very special thank you to all who support this channel financially. To all of my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters, I'd like to give a very heartfelt thank you. A very special thank you to you, Dorothy Ross. Thank you so much for your kind support for my work here. You have been so faithful and you've been so tremendously supportive. I love you. Thank you. Thank you to you, Helene Groen, who has been another very long time faithful giver to this channel. Love your support. Love your posts. God bless you. I truly love you. Thank you. And a very special thank you to Bonnie, who goes by the handle B10Pow, thank you for choosing to support this channel and for the ways you engage and for also being a channel moderator. I appreciate you. Thank you for your comments, your love, your support. I truly do appreciate you. Thank you and God bless. And now a very special thank you to those who gave through Super Thanks. Thank you to Sandra Hill, 4465. You are such a blessing. Thank you so much for giving. I appreciate you. Thank you to Alma Andrews, 8042, who is also a channel member here. You are such a blessing to this channel. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you. I see all of your giving to this channel. It means so much. Once again, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. And if you want to follow this channel on Twitter, links will be here. Kindly follow over there. I'd love to see you on there too. Let's build that platform. And if you want to watch more videos, click the links in the cards and at the end screens. And I will see you there. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.